Today we're gonna to talk about how we properly set rivets and snaps. Now rivets and snaps are used in much of our gear as far as traditional bushcrafting goes, from ax sheaths to knife sheaths to leather belt pouches to bedroll straps to backpacks. So we should really have an understanding of how these tools work in conjunction with our gear. So let's take a closer look at the kit and the tools to properly set rivets and snaps. Okay, so here is everything you need for rivets and snaps. Of course your leather, a hole punch is not necessary. You can use an awl, but it makes life much easier. And if you're carrying a more long-term kit, this is something worthwhile to have in there anyway. You have a snap setter, a rivet setter, and an anvil. And then I have in a small container here, all my snaps and all my rivets. So rivets, we're gonna start with rivets, have two parts. They have the pole, and they have a cap. So these poles come in different sizes. So, and when I say different sizes, I don't mean diameter, I mean height. So my suggestion, you can see here, there are different heights. Get yourself three different styles and that will cover most of your leather working needs, especially if you're gonna use heavier leather, maybe you're attaching a strap to a backpack, something like that, you're gonna need a longer pulled rivet. So uh, get different sizes, throw them in a bag, they don't take up much weight at all. Next thing you wanna do is determine where you want your rivets. Now for demonstration purposes, we're just gonna use two pieces of metal here. I mean, two pieces of uh, leather. So we're gonna just punch one in the center. Now your hole punch that you're punching should be a little bit larger than the diameter of the rivet post. Okay, you want a little bit of wiggle room in there. We'll go on the edge of this, punch our second hole, put that off to the side. Now, on these anvils, you could buy these at leather working shops. One side's flat, one side's domed. You want the flat side up to set a rivet. So you're gonna place your rivet on that, place your leather over the rivet, second piece of leather over the rivet, and then we're gonna cap it off. Now when you push these caps on, you can hear, you'll hear them snap into place. And they'll hold, not super tight, but enough to get all your rivets set if you need to, especially if you're folding a knife sheath over. So you can see here on this ax sheath that I made, I put all these rivets in and then I went back and set them with the setter, okay? So once that's all taken care of, I always like to double check that we're in the center of our anvil. And then we're gonna take our rivet setter. Now our rivet setter is a flat side, flat side here, and a domed side here. That domed side should fit perfectly over the top cap of that rivet. And then all that you're gonna do is you're gonna take this rivet setter and you're gonna hit the back of it a few times. And you don't have to go overboard with that. Just hit it that you'll see your rivet is gonna set down into the leather. You can see it there. Hopefully that it's indented a little bit. Backside is nice and flat. Top side is set really well. And this thing is not gonna pull apart. You'll end up ripping your leather apart or really damaging it long before you get to the point that you hurt your rivet. If you're worried about your rivet being too loose or anything like that, you know, you can go back in if you want. But once it's pretty much set, that's it. That's gonna be where it's at, okay? So that's how easy it is to set a rivet. A snap has four parts that we need to be concerned with. We have the bottom part of our snap and the top part of our snap. Now the bottom part is that part that's actually going to accept the snap itself, okay? So what we're looking at is the part of the snap that looks like a top hat and the pole with the flat side. So that is the first part we're gonna work with. So what we wanna do is take our piece of leather, determine where we need this placed, okay? So again, for our purposes, we're just gonna place this in any section here, I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna use our anvil again. This time, uh, still, we have flat side up. That beveled side is facing down. Place our bottom of our snap facing up. 
place it over our leather and then place that top hat looking piece over that. Now at this point, we're gonna use a snap setter. So you can see this has a small nipple on the end. It will fit right inside that pole that's sticking up. Now all we wanna do at this point is start to hammer this down. And what's gonna happen then is if you can see inside there, all right, we beveled over that edge and that's held in there. So that's in there super tight. The back end is nice and clean. It's not folded over. We have the first part of our snap. Now we're gonna take our hole punch again and determine where we want to snap over to. So we know right about here, take it, hole punch it again. Now, this time, what we're gonna do is first we wanna think about this is gonna be snapping this way. So we know that the top part of our snap, this is actually what snaps into the bottom part. So you can see this, this has a little ring inside, a pressure ring, that's what's gonna snap around the bottom piece, okay? Looks like a short woman's style hat, an old style women's hat, doesn't look like a top hat at all. And then we have the back part of that, and that's an actually a domed, piece again with some height to it all right so we know that this piece for our purposes needs to be here to snap together so what we're going to do is this time take this domed piece and place this on the anvil but this is where the domed anvil comes into play that will fit in there if you do this on a flat anvil you're going to really bust up your snap and it's not going to look too good so you want to place that in the domed anvil Place your leather over the pole, place your top on. Now, again, we're using that setter for this, hammering it down in place just like that. Again, the inside, you can see, get it in the sun here. You could see, we just rolled it over, okay, the back, looks really really good so what we're gonna do now is test it out see it closes over nice solid snap opens up really easily snaps opens up really easily so very very simple just have the right tools and it makes the job super easy I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I really enjoy doing all this stuff. And this is not something that you're gonna probably carry in your everyday kit, but it is a skill set that you should probably know just because it lets you repair your gear, fix ax sheaths, make ax sheaths, make knife sheaths, enhance your leather product um, durability. So learn to do this stuff, guys, and it'll just help you out in the long run. Have the right tools, it makes life much easier. This was Dan Wolak of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. If you haven't already, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. The Appalachian Bushman School is on that page with all our classes, training schedule, and everything else in between. And until the next video, stay in the woods, guys.